Welcome back to a live edition of that God Power channel. Um, this is actually the channel or the Instagram channel of the YouTube channel where we unlock the God Power that's laying dormant on the inside of you. But first today, again, we're live. So um, I don't know if anybody's even going to be watching this or if they'll see if you guys will see this later. But I just wanted to try this out. It's Sunday. And I'm thinking every Sunday I would just come and just drop a word. But before we drop a word, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and pl uh, play some praise and worship music. But you know what I'm saying? God power. I don't know if y'all know what God power is about, uh, but it's not necessarily. You're not going to hear like the same stuff that you hear probably in a typical church. It's going to be a little bit different. So this song is called Gospel Truth, uh, and let's get into this song. And then after that, we'll get into a message while we wait for people to join. So we'll let this play. I know I don't deserve it, but you're still good to me. I might not be so perfect, but you. The darkness and God of the light. God, if I put you all over my life, all of my dreams will begin to take flight. I've never seen so much unconditional love. These blessings they ran from above. I can't be filled with enough. Just what your touch, is, just what you're calling me up. And say, Well done. You lived your life to tell them who I was and the outcomes. It's something we should shout for and celebrate and praise the name of God Almighty. Bro, I swear the all that I need. Hey, hey. Bro, I swear that's all that I need I know I don't deserve it But you're still good to me Can be strong. I know I don't deserve it, but you're still good to me. So the name of that song is called Gospel Truth by Quinn Anthony and CJ Jones. Ah, all I need. That's that's some real, 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 real talk right there. It's like that. I don't know what that did for y'all, but for me, that uh, put some kind of energy inside of me. And earlier this week, I just want to share that I was in a really weird mood when I woke up one day. But then I recognized what kind of mood I was in. I was like, this is not rec regular or normal. And what I did was just start singing about God. And so... All these old people and all church people have always said, you know what I'm saying, when you're going through something, just start uh, praising God and it'll just go away. Hey, I for real believe that I'm a proponent of that. Uh, I can get with that. But that song got us into our message because um, if you were to listen to the words of that song during the, the praise and worship, uh, it was saying that I'm not that worth it, but you're still good to me. I don't deserve it, you know what I'm saying, but you're still loving me, or you're still guiding me. And that's like, those are powerful words, because a lot of times we don't feel like we're worth it, and 
We don't feel like God's love is for us. Um, just earlier today, I got off of I got off the phone with one of my homeboys, my pastor friends, uh, Marcus Battle, and we were talking about the different kinds of love. And God's love is different than the kind of love that we have for each other. And God's love is a different kind of love that we express through our bodies. God's love is the love that 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 encompasses charity, encompasses all things that are good, all things that are just. So um, I wanted to share a passage this morning that I read. Um, it's actually the verse of the day. If y'all got the Bible app, the U version Bible app, is the verse of the day. And I actually read around it, and I kind of want to talk about around it a little bit. So I'll read it to you, and um, and then I'll break it down. Because I, just, I actually just shared this with my parents, too, and I felt like it was a good thing, so I wanted to share it with the rest of everybody. Um, so let's go for it. Romans chapter 10, starting at verse 9 through 15. Um, it says, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's a very simple statement. Uh, just declare with your mouth, believe with your heart. Cool. It's going to, that's going to be the motif of what I'm talking about, honestly. Um, next verse says, number 10 says, For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved so again that's the two things our heart and our mouths keep that in mind so it goes on to say as scripture says anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame for there's no difference between the jew and the gentile the same lord is lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And that's what it says. Um, so the last one, 14 says, How then can they call on one if they've not believed in him? And then how can they believe in, in him if they never heard of him? And how can they hear of him uh, without somebody preaching? And how can they preach unless they're sent? And as it's written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. So what I'm saying is basically, if you have the ability to use your mouth to go for God, that's a beautiful thing. So use your mouth at all chances that you have and, you know what I'm saying, uh, go for God. But more importantly, the motif of these this passage was the heart and the mouth. Those are two things that in this passage is saying that you have control over. You have control over your heart and you have control over your mouth. And so what are you supposed to do with those things? For it's with your heart that you believe and you're justified. So believe with your heart. As long as you do that, you're good. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. So um, use your mouth to profess your faith and speak nothing against that. Remember that these are your two, the two things that you have control over to uh, get you aligned with God. So guard your heart and also use your mouth to speak for God and um, just see what happens. To all those who joined the live, yo, I appreciate y'all for coming in. Um, I just want to drop some words real quick. If you missed the beginning, I opened it with like a a song. It just made me feel good. Praise and worship. You know what I'm saying? It was it was a God song. You know, it was a gospel song. But it's just, you know, I'm not saying it was the typical praise and worship. It's just a song that made me feel good. Hopefully it did that to y'all. But I hope that you guys have a beautiful, lovely, wonderful, excellent, fantastic um, superb, <laughs> exciting, progressive, productive day. And most importantly, remember that you got that God power. Get them.